Hi, a lot of you have reached out to me asking for what are the big changes that ACCA has introduced um, and in our today's video we're going to discuss what are those key changes and how does that impact to the existing student or any student who plans to do ACCA or let's say if you're already doing ACCA and you're at knowledge, skill, professional level, how do you go about planning for these changes? So we're going to discuss a lot of things today. But before we do that, like always, thank you so much for all your love, all your support, all your comments. I truly appreciate it. You know, uh, the last video, the long form video when I made, we were not 10,000 already. So I just want to quickly say thanks to all of you guys that we are um, getting there. All right. So uh, coming to first of all, look, uh, uh, we need to appreciate the fact that ACCA works with the industry very closely. Right. Uh, so these changes are not something that has been done at whims and fancies of, you know, three, five, ten people sitting in one office who've got no uh, who've got no understanding of what's happening, right? They have spoken with relevant industry people, ACCA members, learning providers. Uh, I'm not going to say if they had or had not spoken with me, but uh, but yeah, let's say I am very happy uh, with, the, with the update. So I don't know if you want to make something out of it. But the point is that uh, these changes are very important especially when we are in such a dynamic world right so i'm extremely happy that acc has brought in a lot of uh, positive things in the change right so now what are the key changes of course as you know as uh, you know the cha the changes you know un get un more unraveled and there will be more uh, more updates coming through but uh, but you know whatever we know so far because there is you know acca has created a nice tool they have created infographics and i will put all of that in the comment section so that you can or in the description so that you are able to access that okay but just for your sake uh, as far as the syllabus is concerned we do not know anything yet right we do not know whether uh, any paper syllabus is going to be changed by 5%, 10%, 50%, right? So I am not going to go in that detail. All I can say that I'm sure when the syllabus uh, starts to get updated, we will, we will be advised in good time so that learning providers like FPA have an opportunity to go through the syllabus and prepare for it accordingly, right? But uh, the number of papers, yes, we certainly know that that has been reduced from the total 13 papers that were supposed to be given to become an ACCA from that it has now been reduced to 11 papers yes you heard it right these are 11 papers now what are these 11 papers there are three in knowledge level there are five in now called expertise level and then there are only three at strategic professional level yes so that's how you get your 11 papers. But of course, do not get too excited because uh, ACC has also introduced some employability modules at each level. Therefore, if someone is, is looking at an ACCA as to what are the total number of papers and modules to be given, then there are actually 14 of them, right? So I don't want anyone to think oh it was 13 papers before and now it has gotten diluted no it was never 13 in fact it was 14 because you have to still do the epsm module right before without that you cannot become an acca Ex exactly like that there are 14 uh, papers and modules that you got to do right so there is no huge change per se but yes of course i will be lying to you if i say that oh you know, the rigor or the difficulty level of an ACCA paper is the same as an EPSM module, right? Of course, right? So it further becomes a doable course, right? It further. And again, anyone who thinks, oh, you know, it has to be difficult and, you know, it has to be the most toughest qualification, then of course, you've not understood ACCA. You do not understand what the real world is today. Right? And especially you don't understand me, right? I am not a big fan of making things so difficult that it becomes impossible to do them no we have to make sure that they are doable you know everyone in the college when they study they hear about smart goals right why are they 
why are smart goals called smart because there is something called as achievable right s m a r t the a stands for achievable so that is exactly what acca does so coming back there are five papers at expertise level right so now i will talk about the papers as well what those are right so five papers at expertise level and then the three papers are there in the strategic professional so now the three papers that are there in the knowledge level right those are ma fa and law paper yes the law paper has been moved from skill level to the knowledge level now you must be wondering what's happening with business and technology i am guessing elements of business and technology will now be put into these employability employability modules it could be in other syllabus areas as well and i've always thought that you know uh, anyone who does not understand you know the term called bhel right bhel is you've got everything in there right so bt was always like that it had everything in there right and it was a it was a, a a prep for a paper like sbl right so so i am guessing that all these elements of bt would be uh, put in elsewhere or in some of these employability employability modules that we spoke about okay so uh, so that's your three papers now coming to the skill level because the law has now been moved to the knowledge expertise level has the same five papers then that is currently there in the skill right so the same taxation audit uh, finance and uh, and reporting and performance with data analytics so the so the nomenclature of the papers have changed so i am guessing that there could be some syllabus changes to ensure that it aligns to the name for example finance and investment right or performance with data analytics right or audit risk and control and not just audit and assurance right so you can see that the names uh, of the papers have changed so i'm guessing that the syllabus will be uh, further more aligned to what these are right and then of course in the professional level three papers so sbl sbr remains the same right the sbl paper is uh, still called uh, strategic business leader but the sbr paper will now be called business and sustainability reporting right so therefore uh again there is uh, there is a huge demand for sustainability and of course we know that the standards have come in the new standards so i'm guessing that all of those elements will now be further focused upon and yes the need of the hour right so i'm very happy with the two papers now the third paper which is your optional paper so instead of the two optional papers you are now supposed to give only one optional paper from the total five papers yes you have another option now to sit from to become an acca right so the optional papers continues to so you will have advanced audit or it's called audit and assurance professional you've got corporate finance professional you've got uh, performance and insights professional you've got tax advisory professional and the most interesting paper and and you probably uh, if you've been following me you know i'm a big fan of technology in finance and accounting right so data science professional this is the fifth paper that has been added so if you want to you know you do know that you know these are the kind of skills that are in huge demand maybe not pick any of those audit tax etc papers and pick up something like data science professional right look don't forget that at least in our country there's a common thing that happens which is you know engineering you know guys who do engineering at iits eventually come into im and do mba in finance right and they go and work in investment banking so don't ever get into oh why are we studying this is this is exactly what the real world is all about you know a bit of this you know a bit of that and then you further start to become better and better at things you like and you enjoy right so therefore this paper my friends i think is a game changer for all of us right uh, and yes it's only one that you have to give and then you become an acca yes i am getting some feedback that oh does that does that not make uh, you know slightly lesser opportunities for acc students um yeah i think i think uh, initially yes uh, i do feel that uh, market may may not react in as much excitement to one lesser optional paper because of course and this i've said in multiple times if you want to become a finance professional do apm afm you want to get into accounts finance taxation do it triple a and uh, sorry 
if you're going to accounts and taxation or audit you do you know audit and tax right so so the point is that uh, you know it was always clear that you do these two papers you are a finance you do these two papers you get into accounts and audit and taxation but look i'm sure that there have always been certain changes in the syllabus and i'm sure like i said this change has been brought in by speaking to multiple 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 people right this change has not been done overnight acc team was working on this for over year and a half or at least two maybe right so therefore look uh, these are the key changes in terms of number of papers what these papers are called and the employability modules that have been introduced at each level right now what are these employability modules think of it as epsm i like i said we do not know exactly what the uh, syllabus is going to be like but yes there is responsible business management after knowledge level there is digital tech and innovation after skill level and then there is ethical sustainable leadership after professional level right so you can see there are some elements of epsm there's some elements of business and technology and then of course the much needed technology uh, overall right so so i believe that you know this time the changes have been kept uh, you know have been made keeping in mind that technology has to start to become the heart of the qualification at least that's how i look at it of course sustainability ethics are not going to go anywhere but yeah i think that uh, this is a very very good movement now coming to what do you do right now i've just spoken to my team at fp as well that uh, please do not start making plans about oh 2020 because look the changes are going to come in this uh, in june 2027 right with uh, the knowledge level papers being uh, changed over to the ones that we spoke about, right? So that means if you are at a knowledge level, right? And let's say you had only you had only done MA uh, paper in let's say in in by June 2027, okay? So now when you want to when you want to sit the next exam, let's say you want to sit exam in September October, you will see the transition would have reduced your total number of papers. Uh, to you know like I said 14 modules right so in that in knowledge level you only now to do two more papers which will be FA and law so the BT would have been taken out you would not need to do BT paper anymore right so if you start the journey at at that time and I'm talking about in June 2027 I don't even know if anyone is watching that video at that time right but uh, uh, so then yes of course you know you can wait around don't do a bt paper and do ma fa and then you move over to law paper right you can do that but if we look at right now we are sitting in june 2025 i don't see anyone or i don't suggest anyone making any changes to their current plan continue to do the acca papers the way you are planning to do if you started with your knowledge level try and make sure you finish as many papers yes i i assume that it will take you at least a good two years to complete the nine odd papers that are there in knowledge and skill right complete that anyways by the time you come into the professional level the transition would have started to come in so instead of giving giving four papers yes you only give three papers right but that is in 2027 so my sincere request to all of you right please do not start to think that i will defer it right because you know if you are done with your acca now vis-a-vis -vis, you know you want to wait so that you can reduce the number of pays trust me it does not make any sense right i would rather sit the paper yes i might fail i will sit again and i will crack the paper because at the end of the day more knowledge is not going to harm you lesser knowledge yes probably but more knowledge is not going to harm you therefore Please make sure that do not change your plans around ACCA. Continue to give the papers. Like I said, you know, June 2027 is a long way off. I am hoping I will still be around, right? So I, you know, I do look forward to your questions, etc. Especially at that time. But right now, just continue your ACCA journey like you've been doing. And uh, and yes, if you if you still have any further questions, do reach out to me. Uh, one small change that I want to also talk about is that uh, the practical experience requirement that was for three years continues to be three years. However, ACCA will now have optional 
employability modules wherein if you do one of those modules now the names have not been given of those employability modules but let's say you know let's assume that those are something around power bi or python or something around uh, softwares like sage etc or zero etc right something like that it could be some of these because you know at the end of the day it's employability right so then you will be able to reduce you will be able to reduce your per requirement by six months right so that is also another positive change that instead of full three years of per it's only uh, it's only then 24 months right so this was another change that has been introduced uh, like i said all in all the way i look at it this is very positive and i'm sure that industry is going to respond in the same manner but yes as more and more information come out i will be sharing more details uh, one last thing there is a transition tool there is a link to a transition tool that i'll put in the video uh, description section you can visit that you it will show you that how does that change impact you at the time of june 2027 or september 2027 right so you can put in your details and it will tell you how it can impact you right so look do not get bogged down right there is still a lot of time to go before you get to that stage so uh, continue your journey study hard make sure that you put your best foot forward and if you still have any questions, like always, you can reach out to me, share, you know, uh, you know, uh, leave a comment and I will definitely try and help you with whatever queries you have. Right. On that note, all the very best and thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye bye.